Honestly, Dune is becoming one of my favorite franchises, all the more because of Dune Part 2. And that's exactly what we're going to be reviewing in this video. Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Ava, and welcome back to the channel here at Avlogs. And like I said, we're going to be reviewing Dune Part 2. It's breathtaking. Let me say a bold statement. It's actually a dumb statement because I'm saying that this is probably one of my favorite films in 2024 so far. And it's because it's just March. So I, I'm pretty sure this is gonna change down the road. Honestly, I felt like Dune Part 2 was better than Part 1. And let's talk more about it. This film is entertaining, is fun, despite it being slow and long. Now, Dune Part 2 and Part 1, I guess, people have been commenting and it's something that alam ko relatable siya. Alam ko, I, I agree, okay? I agree with Pulsong ng Bayan that people are saying that this is a slow movie. It's a slow burn. But what's interesting is despite it being slow, it's not boring. Well, that's based on my opinion. I don't think Dune... Especially part two is boring at all. Dune part two all the more because part one admittedly was just the exposition. It was just the prologue, prelude to everything. It was just the beginning of the story. And Dune part two is where the action, the meatiness, every single thing that's exciting about the story occurs here. Nothing fancy. I understand. But what I love is that they continue the elements that made the first film successful. The cinematography, the beauty, the world building was just phenomenal. Which leads me to my second point, is that this is, I believe, the epitome of filmmaking. All thanks to the direction, all thanks to the visual aspect, to the story, to the characters, the acting, everything just sings when it is combined to make this film. First up, you know, Denis Villeneuve, which is the director. Yes, that's how you pronounce his name, Denis Villeneuve. I'm just showing off. But Denis Villeneuve just really gave us a immersive experience with Dune Part 1 and all the more with the sequel. It may not be as grand and as spectacular as the first one. Limited tayo sa mga set pieces on desert. But even the long lingering shots, all of those things that he did in the first film, he was still able to do again. That's why I just slow yung pacing niya. But you get those nice cinematic moments, nice cinematic shots. The color grading is still consistent. I think in terms of if like a film could get a consistency or continuity award, Dune would definitely get that. The casting, obviously, it just gets better and better. The first film had, of course, Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya who are at the forefront of this film once again. All the more the two this time around. We still have Dave Batista. We still have, uh, who else do we have? Rebecca Ferguson. But then we have the inclusion of one of my favorites, Austin Butler. Florence Pugh is here as well. And many, many more. And it adds volume, yes, number, but also adds flair and intrigue and, and more, you know, like this nice holistic cast that really bounce off each other really well well before i go to the third point cinematography just has to be praised i mean again i think i said it already medyo 30 year old brain is not working it is just so cinematic it's just so brilliantly done it's again engaging because of that third point the story was just spectacular this time around I feel like there's a simplicity to it. Again, there's a slow burn to this. And I'm going to dissect and explain the story in a separate video because there are some thoughts that I wanna just release. But this is a spoiler-free review. But then, the story is just amazing. I have comparisons to Star Wars. I still go back to the first Dune Part 1 film where this is just the combination of sci-fi meets Troy and 300. But I also feel like there's that Muslim culture kind integrated as well. It's such a nice story that is also very political. It's also have, you know, it has romance. It has so many suspenseful moments that really make it interesting. But I feel like the plot this time around was really like I know from what I know I think 
you know, uh, Dune was before the Star Wars film. And there's a huge twist here. Twist after twist actually towards the end that was really fantastically done. And I think just flip the story altogether. I think what we, what you would have expected out of Dune, you might not see it coming for this time around. I mean, it's just mind-blowingly amazing in terms of storytelling. It's something that will get you caught off guard and will make you feel things that you never thought you'd want to feel. My irritation and all of these things. Man, Dune Part 2, you really delivered. I mean, the only caveat, of course, because I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, a solid 9 out of 10. I really wanted to give it a 10, but I felt like it's still a bit slow for my liking. But I wouldn't also change anything about it. I mean, like, I wouldn't speed it up, but at the same time, I just feel like it's just long. I mean, and here's the thing, it's long or feels long. It's not boring, but it's not as long as Oppenheimer. And I enjoyed Oppenheimer. I still enjoy this one. I enjoyed this one. I really do. Because there's so many things that make it work and make it interesting. Again, the changes in the story, the cinematography, all of that add together to make it brilliant. But then you just feel it somehow. You feel that it drags its feet so close to being a solid 10 out of 10 for me what are your thoughts about dune part 2 again i'll release more videos about dune and explainer videos even about poor things so tune into that i'm actually gonna make a couple of that after this so interesting but that's it don't so forget to make every day into an adventure god bless guys continue to like share and subscribe see you guys on the next one